parents, thanks so much for joining us in this quick tutorial video to help you understand a little bit about why we're not just doing that traditional method. Now, if you want to go ahead and put a clock on and time me, it's going to take me way longer to do this. But is math really about doing it fast just to get the answer in the 21st century or is it really having place value understanding? I promise you this is going to come haunt children when they get into middle school because using the partial products with the area model when we make x as a value is going to make a difference in this traditional method although you can get the answer it's not going to matter remember in the 21st century it's really about understanding and explaining the act sat state tests no longer have an a b c d bubble to get the answer for this so let's just take a minute to quickly understand the connections that while you're at home with your children, you can help make this connection. I'm gonna first explain the partial products of the area model and why it will help students to have the place value understanding. We're gonna use one of our characters from our math mites, which is the value pack to do this. We're gonna look at the value of each of these numbers, which is gonna help us to understand the traditional. So if we look at the number, 27 in the value pack. When the value pack separates, they show their value. So the value of 23 is 20 and 3, and the value of 27 is 20 and 7, which is essentially what you're doing in the traditional process. Understanding a procedure with a concept we don't understand versus taking a second to make sense of this. So I'm going to take this 27. I drew an area box. My tens side is larger. My one side is smaller. I'm going to decompose that 20 and the 7 here. I'm going to flip mine and I'll show you why I like to flip the second number in my boxes. So it's going to be 20 and 3. So I'm going to put my 3 on top and my 20 on the bottom. Does 27 still equal? Yes, this still all connects. There is something called partial products without the area mail, but I'm not going to confuse you with today, but I think you can make this connection as to what kids are doing. When we start off in this traditional method with our friend T Pops, who does the traditional method, even though he's the oldest math citizen and knows how to do it the traditional way, he really understands why kids have to have the number sense to do what we're doing. So we're going to start off, I even put a number one box. When we're doing the traditional method, we do seven times three. I know that seven times three is 21. So I'm going to put that 21 in here. I'm going to continue looking at what I would look at in the traditional. You and I might say three times two. But is that really a 2? No, it's 3 times 20. And 3 times 20, we know, equals 60. Okay, so I have this connection here. Let's go ahead and solve it now in the traditional algorithm just to make the connection. I know that 60 plus 21 is going to give me 81. Let's go through and do it this way with the traditional. 7 times 3. I know is 21. So I'm going to put my 1 here. I'm not going to carry a 2 because what is that 2 really worth? I'm going to put it in purple to know that it's actually worth 20. When I do my 3 times 20, I know that it's 60. Should it just be 62? Well, no, that is 20, right? It's two tens. So 6 times 2, 6 times 20 is sorry, 3 times 20 is 60 plus my 20 gives me the 80. Do you see the connection here? How when we did it with partial products, how kids could see it. I'm going to cross this off because I've already used it and go on to the second part of our, our to get our uh, answer here. So I'm going to go now into box 3. 20 times 7. It's not 2 times 7, it's 20 times 7. What is 20 times 7? I know that it's 140. So I know that I can put my 40 in here, but I have to be able to bring that 100 up. So I'm going to put it kind of over here in the 100 spot. At some point, kids do learn how to do the placeholder, which is fine, but as long as they understand what that value actually is. We just made the 140 as we did here. Now, if I go across here to 20 times 20, it's not 2 times 2, it's actually 20 times 20. I know that 20 times 20 is 400. 20 times 20 is 400 plus my additional 100 is going to give me the 5. Let's add this up and see, does that match 540? Yes, it does. Let's add this together, see if I still get the same answer. I'm going to add this together, and I know here I am going to end up with 621. Here I get 621. 
What we're trying to do here is help you to make the connection with the value of what's happening. You and I probably learned just to put a zero in for the placeholder, but did you know why you did that? Well, because you're moving values, but like whatever, I'm just gonna do whatever my teacher says and kind of follow the procedure. Remember, in the 21st century, it's not so much about getting the answer. I have a phone that I could go to and just ask Siri for the answer. It's about explaining how they're understanding it. Yes, you can feel free to put a timer on, and I know I could solve this, and you could teach your kid this way faster. But if it's with, with a very small depth of knowledge, meaning if they just know that memorize the procedure without understanding the concept, that's where we're in trouble, especially when we get to algebra. We hope that you found our quick parent tutorial video helpful on how to help you at home to really use the ideas that are being shown, even though it's not familiar to you. We know that you and I learned that T-Pops way, and it's really hard to think about strategies differently. We hope that this video will provide you some information as to why this helps for kids to have an understanding that's a little bit deeper. We don't wanna teach concepts a mile long and just cover concepts and check them off. We wanna complete them a mile deep. Having your children do less is better than having them do more. We're not doing 30 problems. See if your kids can do two problems with multiplication connecting this concept with the traditional. Feel free to comment on our page. Let us know how things are going or any other questions that you have. We have lots of great tutorial videos on our YouTube channel at the handle at SIS, the number four teachers. Thanks so much for joining us.